consists of two layers of amphipathic phospholipid molecules whose hydrophobic tails face each other, while their hydrophilic heads face outwards towards the cytosol or extracellular solution. The cell membrane thus acts as a hydrophobic barrier that surrounds the cell. It's interesting to note that spherical membranes can form spontaneously from phospholipids in vitro. This suggests that the shape of the cell membrane is at least partially maintained by the phospholipids themselves. However, we do know that membrane proteins also play a role in maintaining the shape not only of the cell membrane but also of all organellar membranes within the cell. The main function of the cell membrane is to separate all of the intracellular contents from the extracellular environment. This separation protects the cell from its environment and ensures that the presence and concentration of ions, molecules, and proteins is maintained. If the cell membrane were composed only of phospholipids, it would be impenetrable to all hydrophilic molecules, allowing only small hydrophobic molecules to pass. However, cells need to communicate with their environment to obtain food and other important molecules as well as to excrete waste, so the cell membrane is embedded with many proteins that selectively allow some molecules to pass but not others. In this way, the plasma membrane is semi-permeable. For example, something as simple as water transport across the membrane requires specialized water channels called aquaporins, which are embedded throughout most cell membranes. The cell membrane is filled with all sorts of proteins involved in many functions, including ion and molecule transport, enzymatic activity, and cell signaling pathways. Some proteins also act as attachment sites that anchor the cytoskeleton to the cell membrane. Moreover, the cell membrane behaves like a two-dimensional fluid as phospholipids and proteins diffuse through the bilayer.